First, I want to start off by giving a brief introductory to Seda Fatima, peace and blessings be upon her. Also known as the Lady of Light and the leader of the women of the world. She was Prophet Muhammad's only daughter and she was a true blessing to him. Muhammad respected his daughter so much that every time she entered the mosque, the Holy Prophet himself would stand up to show respect to her. The Prophet showed his daughter great love and dignity. The Prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, once said, whoever pleases Fatima has indeed pleased Allah, and whoever has caused her to be angry has indeed angered Allah. Fatima is a part of me, whatever pleases her pleases me, and whatever angers her angers me. When Sayyidah Fatima's mother, Khadija, passed away, Sayyidah Fatima stepped up and took on the role of caregiver of the household. When Sayyidah Fatima's mother, Khadija, passed away, Sayyidah Fatima stepped up and took on the role of caregiver of their household. This was an extremely difficult time for her because not only did she lose her mother at a young age, but also Abu Talib, the Prophet's uncle and protector, passed away. Even though this was a lot of pressure for her as a young girl, Sayyidah Fatima never once complained. Chapter 17, verse 23 of the Quran says, And your Lord has declared that you not worship, ex only accept him and to parents good treatment. Whether one or both of them reach old age while with you, say not to them so much as oh, and not resist them, but speak to them a noble word. Sayyidah Fatima remained close to her father and cared for him through all of the hurt he endured while trying to educate those about Islam. She did not carry fear, nor was she disheartened through the mending of the wounds and humiliation of her father. She would wait in anticipation for his return home, finding the marks of pressure, stress, injury, and grief. She would embrace him with her compassion, caress him with her kindness, shower him with her love, open her heart to his worries, and heal his wounds. She always supported him no matter what. Throughout this period, Fatima agreed to marry Ali, peace and blessing be upon him, and they later ended up having four amazing children by the names of Hassan, Hussein, Zainab, and Umm Kulthum. Fatima was pregnant with her fifth child, Mohsen, but lost him during her pregnancy. Oppressors attacked their host and burned the door. A nail from the door punctured Sayyidah Fatima, resulting in the death of her unborn child, Mohsen. The Holy Quran explicitly indicates that the Prophet, with the order of Allah, has asked people to love his family as a command. It is unfortunate that those who claim to be his sincere companions inflicted such horrible pain to his family while a week had not even passed since the death of our Holy Prophet Muhammad. Is this the love that Allah ordered for the family of the Prophet? Absolutely not. It was only a few months after this horrific incident that Sayyidah Fatima also passed away. On the day of Sayyidah Fatima's death, she knew it was her time. She prepared food for her family and went into her prayer room and started to pray. She told her servant, Fudda, when she no longer heard her praying, she should go to the mosque and inform her husband, Ali, that she had passed away. She said that if her children came home in the meantime, to give them food before telling them. How beautiful is this? Even though Sayyidah Fatima was dying, she was still putting her family first. Although Sayyidah Fatima is not physically here with us, she will always remain present in my heart and my mind. She is a true symbol of womanhood in Islam and someone we should all consider a role model. I strongly feel that we should strive to even be half of who she was, not only as a woman, but in general a person. She truly was a beautiful young woman inside and out. She devoted herself to her religion and love for Allah. She was selfless and generous, even though she did not have much herself. 
chapter 2, verse 261 of the Quran says, The example of those who spend their wealth in the way of Allah is like a seed of grain which grows seven spikes. And each spike is 100 grains. And Allah multiplies his reward for whom he wills. Allah is all-encompassing and all-knowing. Sayyidah Fatima was an amazing daughter to her father, wife to her husband, and mother to her children. She was completely devoted to her father through all of the distress brought upon him from the disbelievers. She was an extraordinary wife and always put others first. Brothers and sisters, I challenge all of you to take some time and think about the person you are today and who you want to be. If you chase anything in life, chase the things that get you excited about living. Chase the things that give you hope, happiness, and a glimpse of a better life. Chase the things that make you want to be a better person. Chase the things that inspire you to think, create, and live joyfully. Chase the things that reinforce your soul. Tell yourself, I can make a difference. Chase the things that make you want to transform your heart from selfish to selfless. When you chase that kind of storm, you're chasing rainbows. Brothers and sisters, what our future hold is up to us. No, it's not going to happen overnight and it's not going to be easy. But if we can start making small changes now within ourselves and live by the beauty and rules of our religion, such that Sayyidah Fatima did, imagine how bright our world can be. Thank you. Mm -hmm.